Okay, it's um, a Year 10 Italian class. Uh, they've been studying Italian now for four years. It's a mixed ability group, so the range of predicted grades goes from G to A star. Um, we've just recently done an assessment uh, in which they had to prepare oral topics that they'll do for their final GCSE. Uh, when I was examining them on that, I felt that they weren't secure enough in um, three tenses which you need to get at least a C grade and also how to improve their answers. Even a lot of the more able students were writing quite standard answers. So what I want to do today is focus on those three tenses, give them ideas of the kind of language they could be using and then get them to think about um, how they can improve on the answers they've already written. Um, it's something which I envisage working on over the course of this week leading up to them rewriting their answers. Um, what I've tried to do is give them quite a creative thinking skills activity where they're going to have some information about a student in a very similar situation to them. And they've got to analyse that information using their knowledge of grammar um, to decide, to make a decision about something. And then obviously all of that material will then help them with my final outcome, which is getting better conversation questions from them. Ok, allora, il titolo per oggi è La scelta di Sam, ok? Se so copiamo La scelta di Sam. In inglese, Sam's choice, ok? Sam's choice. Siamo martedì, il 10 luglio, e copiamo in classe, ok? Alright, so, what we're going to be doing in today's lesson. Um, what I've been thinking about is uh, your conversation topic that you've just been doing, a lot of you, education, training and employment. And what I want to do by the end of today's lesson is give you some more ideas so that you can improve on your answers for that conversation topic. Okay, so on Friday we're going to be in an ICT room and using all of the things that we look at today and next lesson, you're going to have the opportunity to improve on um, the answers that you've written so far. Okay? So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to focus on three tenses because as you know, you need to ensure that you've got three tenses in all of your answers uh, to make sure that you get a C grade. We're then going to look at some language relating to this topic. So all of the language that we see today, you can then use in your answers and you're going to be using your knowledge of grammar and in particular three tenses to see if you can solve a little mystery and I'll explain that when we get to it. Finally going to think about all of this language and we're going to think about strategies, other strategies that we can use to improve a text and that text is obviously going to be the answers to the um, education topic. Okay. First of all we'll look at somebody else's and then as I said later in the week you're going to have the chance to improve on yours. All right? Okay. Allora, per cominciare un po' di ripasso revision, quindi abbiamo passato, abbiamo presente, abbiamo futuro. Okay? Uh, vorrei un volontario, un volontario. Alex, grazie, vieni qua. Ok? <laughs> allora, Alex, due verbi, passato, presente, futuro. Ok? Bene, per esempio, I went, I go, I will go. Bravo. Studierò. Ho studiato. Studio. Benissimo. Un secondo. No, no. Ok, benissimo. Allora, Alex, in inglese, ho studiato, I studied, I studied studio, I studied. benissimo, studierò, I will study. perfetto, ok, benissimo. Un altro volontario, un secondo volontario, no, nessuno? Ok, alzate la mano, allora, um, visito, dove lo metto? Passato, presente, futuro, Ian? Present. Benissimo, ok, I visit, come si dice I visited, Ian? Ho visitato. Ho visitato, fantastico. And I will visit? Visiterò. Visiterò, benissimo, ok. Allora, per finire, um, Elsa, passato, to finish. Ho finito. Ho finito, eccellente, I finished, ok. Presente? Finisco. Finisco, esattamente, <coughs> futuro? Finirò. Finirò, benissimo, ok. Elsa, in questa colonna, il futuro, what pattern can you see? Okay, with mm -hmm. with an accent. Benissimo, with an accent. Okay, perfetto. Questa colonna. Um, Tom, what pattern can you see? Um, all and no. All and no. Okay. So I visit, I finish, etc., etc. Questa colonna. What pattern can you see? Hayley? They end in ATO. Anything else? Awesome. Esatto. O, o, o. Oh, and that is a little bit different. Okay, how many words have we got? 
Sì. Sì, bene, ok, benissimo. Ok, allora, adesso potete copiare numeri da 1 a 7, sì? Copiate numeri da 1 a 7. Sì, so, no, 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 solo numeri, sì, 1 a 7, esatto. Ok? Allora, dovete completare le frasi, completare le frasi con un verbo. What have you got to do, uh, Alex? Uh, complete the sentences with one verb at the bottom. Esatto, you do not have to copy the whole sentence, you're just going to decide which verb you think goes into the gap, ok? What clues might there be in the sentences to help you? First of all, you've got to decide are they past, present or future? Number one, l'anno prossimo. Che vuol dire l'anno prossimo? Hannah? Next year. Next year, esatto. So, passato, presente o futuro? Futuro. Futuro, esatto. Ok? Bene, benissimo. Uh, numero quattro, l'anno scorso. L'anno scorso, Bianca? Last year. Last year, brava. Allora? Bene, passato. Last year. Ok? Uh, Numero 5, il weekend prossimo, in. Benissimo, se so questo è il futuro, ok? Allora, vi do tre minuti, tre minuti per completare le frasi, ok? Don't write the whole sentence, just write the verb. If you get stuck, go on to the next one, ok? Facciamo un esempio, um, chiedo a... Byron, numero uno, l'anno prossimo in, Franci in vacanza in Francia con la mia famiglia. Andrò, esatto, I will go, ok? Bene, allora, tre minuti, sì? Ok, perfetto. Ok, Tony, numero due, durante le vacanze in città, what's in città? City. Into the city, ok, benissimo. So what do you think the verb might be? Um, go. I go. go, allora come si dice I go? Sono andato. Sono andato, I went, present tense. Uh, uh, what's it, vado? Vado, perfetto, vado, ok, bene. Uh, that's ok, you're not going to need much space today, so you can just write them up there at the top, that's fine. Chris, Dr. Ed, you says ok. Dopo, numero tre, dopo means after, so mm. after your GCSEs. Would it be I studied or when is after your GCSEs, in the past or in the future? Uh, in the past. After you've done your <coughs> GCSEs. <coughs> that would be in the future, yeah, when you go into the sixth form. Oh, okay. okay, so how would you say I will study? Not ho studiato. Um, I don't know. Is it studio or studierò? Uh, studierò. Studierò. Perfect. Okay. So that's the number three. Good. Okay. Chris, questa, sì? Studierò. Okay. Sì? Sì? Se vuoi, sì. George, okay? Which one are you doing? Numero due, okay. Durante le vacanze, during the holidays, se questo sarà al presente, che cos'è? Come? You could say I eat in town, sì, sì. That wasn't what I was thinking, but that works perfectly, sì, bravo. Ok, un minuto. Sì? No, domani, tomorrow, sì, domani, tomorrow. George, ok? Yeah. Which one are you doing, number three? Yeah. Ok, dopo, dopo i GCSEs, dopo means after. So is that in the past or the future, after your GCSEs? Oh, in the future. Future, ok. La sociologia. In sociology. Mm -hmm. So after my GCSEs, I'll do. Esatto, so esatto. Ok, bene. Allora, come si dice I will do or I will study? Can you see that on the board? Is it studierò, visiterò o mangerò? Bravo, perfetto. Ok, benissimo. Allora vediamo. Um, numero due, numero due, chiedo a Willow, sì. Visitò. Visitò, sì, funzionerebbe, sì, visitò. Ok, 
I visit the city. Altre possibilità, sì? Vado. Vado, sì, vado. Okay. I package to the city, Willow, for a day. Vado in città, I go to the city, okay? Bene. Altre possibilità? George? Mangio. Mangio, mangio. I eat in town. Bene, okay? Numero tre, bravo. Numero tre. Um, Bianca? Studio. Studierò, benissimo. Studierò la sociologia. Ok, bene. Numero quattro, l'anno scorso in Italia con la scuola. Uh, Natalie? Sono andato. Benissimo, sono andato. I went, see? Sì? I went to Italy. Perfetto. Ok, cinque, il weekend prossimo una pizza con i miei amici James. Uh, Finiro? Oh, wait, fine. Sì, sì, forse. I'll finish a pizza. O? Mangerò. Mangerò, sì, tutte e due vanno bene. Mangerò una pizza con i miei amici, ok. Numero 6, bene, numero 6, domani, domani è tomorrow, il mio compito di francese. Go plan. No? Ok, so domani, tomorrow, il mio compito di francese, my French. Esatto, sì. Sì, farò, o forse, does that work? Oh, yeah. Sì? Ok, bene. Al finalmente numero 7, ieri sera, last night, i compiti alle 9. I compiti alle 9. Um, who I ask? Uh, Hannah. Ho finito. Ho finito, benissimo. Ho finito i compiti Oops. alle 9. Ecco, there we go. Ok, bene. Put your hands up if you've got more than four of those, right? See? Ok, ok, benissimo. We're going to come back to verbs later on, ok? So we'll come back to those a bit later on, but so far people seem to be getting on ok with that. Ok, so, the question that you're going to answer this lesson, so this is relating to number two, using grammar to solve a mystery, is what options should Sam take? Ok? Fra due, fra due avete questo foglio, sì? Fra due, questo foglio, ok? Sam's choice. Queste sono the option blocks di Sam, ok? The option blocks di Sam, ok? Ok? Quindi, um, L'inglese, sì, la matematica, le scienze e la religione sono obbligatori, obbligatori. In inglese obbligatori? No? Obligatory, compulsory, ok? Poi, got musical accompaniment. Poi dovete scegliere una tecnologia, ok? Una lingua, una lingua e due materie, due altre materie, ok? So, una tecnologia, una lingua, due materie. Sì? Ok, benissimo. So, girate il foglio, girate il foglio. Sì, girate il foglio. E avete informazioni, informazioni su Sam, ok? Informazioni su Sam. I'll explain quickly in English. This is the information about Sam, okay, about what he likes, what he doesn't like, what he's done for work experience, what he wants to do in the future. You've got to use this to decide which technology he's going to do, which language he's going to do, and which other two subjects he's going to do, okay? Allora, un esempio, okay? Non ho studiato il tedesco. Non ho studiato il tedesco. In inglese, che vuol dire? James. Uh, doesn't study German. Sì, I haven't studied, past tense, bene. German, e esatto, il tedesco. Allora, cancello il tedesco, ok? Bene. Ok. Mi piace viaggiare, mi piace viaggiare. Bianca? Is that who likes to travel? I like to travel, esatto. Allora, Bianca, ci sono possibilità? Turismo. Turismo, allora metto question mark, sì? Um, geografia. Forse geografia, ok? So, sono due possibilità. Bene, ok. 
Il professore di storia è molto divertente. Uh, Rosa. Um, the history teacher is very fun. Esatto, ok. Allora, ci sono possibilità? Um, la storia. La storia, esatto. Quindi metto question mark, ok? Sì? Avete capito? Do you understand what you've got to do? Sì? Sì? Ok. I'm going to get you to work in groups so you can discuss it together and you have got to come up with the four subjects you think that he should choose, ok? On the second sheet I've given you, you have a sentence, a model sentence. Al futuro studierò. Al futuro studierò. In English, I am in. In the future, I will study. So, per esempio, bravo. Um, al futuro studierò uh, la storia. Perché? Because il professore di storia è molto divertente. Okay? So, you've got to come up with your four subjects and four reasons. I'm going to give you about six or seven minutes. We'll see how you're getting on. Okay? And you're going to discuss it in groups and then we're going to get some feedback and see what we come up with. Okay? Allora, um, you four can work together. Okay? Uh, Hayley, Chris and you two at the back work together. You four work together. You four, you four. Um, Gerb van Byron and Zoe and George, uh, James and Hannah. Okay, so if you need to turn your chair around, that's fine. Okay? Benny. You can write on these sheets if you want to cross things out as you work out your solutions. Okay, so now you're going to need that. Okay, you've got an extra copy there. Chris, molto divertente. Okay, so you've got the sheet here. Start working through them. Maybe one of you can read them out, the other one can start pushing things off. Okay? Si, certo, si. Alex, you'll need that to write down your solutions, okay? Because I want you to feed back to everybody. Si, si, certo, si. Si, exactly. So you can cross them out if you've considered them. Maybe on the other side or on the spare copy, you can start marking which subjects you think they should do, okay? Okay. Because they're compulsory, so you don't need to worry about that. Some of the statements won't necessarily help you, okay? Okay, how are we getting on? Maybe you can keep this on this side. Yeah. Read out the statements and you can start crossing them off. Okay, how are you getting on? Stern. Penna, grazie. I just so, said stern in Italian. Forte. Mi piace viaggiare, so we've looked at that one. Non lavoro molto in scienza e in matematica. They're both compulsory, so that doesn't matter, okay? Non ho fatto i compiti di storia questa settimana. What didn't he do? For which subject? So maybe that's a cross against that one, maybe he doesn't like history, okay? Il professore di storia è molto divertente. He likes the history teacher. He likes the history teacher, so that's a bit confusing now, so you have to see, okay? Amo le lingue perché sono divertenti. What does he like? Languages. See if you can find any information to help you pick which language you should go for, okay? Okay, so questo forse sarebbe turismo, okay? Forse. Can you find any information to decide which language you should do? Does it say anything about any particular country? Okay. Cucina, uh, food tech, sì, okay? Questi sono tecnologia, questo è um, textile, sì, okay? Okay, sì. What is tessuti? is textiles, okay? So, tech, uh, catering, textiles, questi sono uovi, sì, sì, okay? Okay, avete deciso qualcosa? No, non ancora, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, but remember, you can only have two from this column. So what else? Have you decided on the language? C'è una gita in Spagna. Una gita is a trip to Spain. Per gli studenti di geografia. So if he does geography, he might want to do Spanish. Is there anything else about Spanish in there? Final? Okay. Okay. Have you picked any yet? Get in there. Okay. Sí. I'll listen to it up. Some of it doesn't necessarily help you make a decision. Yeah, that could be anything really, couldn't it? Yeah. Right, how are we getting on? Have you decided? Made any decisions? You picked all of them? No? Okay. So, um, he's got to do one language, okay? Is there anything in here about different languages? Okay. So, vado in Spagna. Here, c'è una gita. Una gita is a trip in Spagna per gli studenti di geografia. So, forse la lingua sarebbe spagnolo. Sì, okay. Sì, sì, certo. Okay. Sì. Tessuti textiles. Francis, call me back. How's it going? Oh, I've got a chest. I've got a chest. I've got a some of these won't necessarily help you make the decision. You've got to pick something from here. His mum works in a hotel. What does his dad do? Mio padre ha un negocio di informatica. Computer shop, okay. So what do you think he might do for technology? See, for a Okay, you should now be writing your four sentences in your group explaining your choices, okay? So, al futuro studierò, in the future I will study. Okay, al futuro studierò spagnolo, bene. Allora, avete due minuti, two minutes, sì? Ok, spagnolo, geografia, sì, perché? So, per esempio, studierò spagnolo perché vado in Spagna, I go to Spain, sì? Which is on here, ok? Turismo perché mi piace viaggiare, forse, ok? Okay, Rosa, and Cora, do I two more subjects? Okay. Okay. Byron, you need to make sure you write down. Oh, where's this? Is this your one? There. Yeah, you can take two from that column. So you need to write what the four subjects are there for me, okay? Decide it, yes. So write the four subjects down here for me if you've decided, okay? Okay, un minuto, un minuto, okay? Chris, make sure you write the four subjects on here. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now, see? Oh, okay. Yeah? See, see.
Ok, 30 secondi per finire. Ok, ok, benissimo. Allora, uh, giratevi, per favore. Can everyone turn and face the front? Put your sheets back on your desk. Bene. Ok, allora, vediamo le conclusioni. Comincio con il gruppo di um, Gupfan. So, Gupfan, tecnologia. Um, informatica. Informatica, ok. Lingue? Spagnolo, ok. Due materie? Ok, bene. Allora, il gruppo di James? Sì. Tecnologia? Uh, informatica. Informatica, lingua? Spagnolo. Spagnolo, materie? Um, turismo, mm -hmm. uh, um, educazione fisica. Ok, allora James, perché <coughs> l'educazione fisica? Because um, he worked in a um, sports shop sì. and he swims for a club in... Me, me lo puoi dire in italiano? Right. So I swim? Um, oh, uh, nuoto. Bene, um, nuoto. In piscina. Benissimo, eccellente. Ok, so lì piace lo sport. Ok, il gruppo di uh, Rosa. Um, Tecnologia? Informatica. Perché l'informatica? Um, perché lui è padre. Mm -hmm. Works in the ICT shop. Sì, un negozio di informatica, yeah. sì. Bene, ok. Lingua? Um, spagnolo. Spagnolo, benissimo. Due materie? Um, geografia and sì. we didn't decide on the fourth one. Oh, ok, ok. Uh, il gruppo di Alex? Um, informatica. Informatica, ok. Lingua? Uh, ok, sì. Um, Um, lui padre ha un negozio di informatica. Ah, oh, sì, per questo, sì, benissimo. L suo padre ha un negozio. Ok, quale lingua? Um, spagnolo. Spagnolo, benissimo. E due altre materie? Um, geografia. Sì. And turismo. Ok, bene. Uh, altri gruppi, il gruppo di Ian. Scusa, informatica, sì. spagnolo, educazione fisica, sì. turismo. Turismo, perché il turismo? Sì. Uh, perché mi piace viaggiare. Mi piace viaggiare, eccellente. Ok, uh, il gruppo di Natalie? Um, geografia. Sì? Uh, sì? Turismo. Turismo. Spagnolo. Sì? And informatica. Ok, and bene. Studio. Perché la geografia, Natalie? Perché la geografia? Um, no? Perché, uh, perché allora questo gruppo? Perché la geografia? Uh, Spagna. Sì, allora va in Spagna. Sì, ok, vado in Spagna. E finalmente il gruppo di Chris. Quale tecnologia, Chris? Informatica. Informatica, ok. Lingua? Quale lingua? Uh, spagnolo. Spagnolo, benissimo. Due altre materie? Okay. L'educazione fisica. Le Perché l'educazione fisica? Okay, education, physical. Um. Does anyone get a reason for that, for PE? Amo la musica rap. Amo la musica rap, <laughs> sì, è molto importante per l'educazione fisica. Okay, e finalmente Chris, quale altra materia? Come? Turismo, ok, turismo. Allora, vediamo. Ovviamente farà informatica, farà spagnolo, poi questo ha quattro, questo ha tre, questo ha sei. Quindi farà turismo e geografia. Ok, perfetto. So, in all of those sentences, you've obviously, you've understood them, you've managed to come to some conclusions and we all more or less came to the same conclusions. And you've got lots of ideas in here of different things that you can say, what you'd like to do in the future, where you worked on your work experience, saying a subject you like, saying a subject you don't like, okay? So that's going to give you extra ideas when it comes to writing your answers to the conversation questions. Okay. Um, here, and this you have on the bottom of your page, okay? So you're going to fill this in as we go along. 
We've got all of the verbs uh, from that exercise, so all of the different things that Sam says. I'm going to give you a two or three minutes, see how many of them you can put into the right column. So, past, present, future, conditional, okay? Conditional, I would, I would like, I would go, I would try, okay? Okay, so I've pulled out all of the verbs. Where are you going to put them in the table? Chris? I've written what they mean on here, most of them. Okay, so that should help you decide where they should go. <laughs> Devon, if you need some help. Okay, George, if you're not sure what any of them mean, they're on there, okay? Rishi, if you're not sure what they mean, put some of the translations there, okay? Willow, if you're not sure what any of them mean, I've put some of the translations there for you, okay? And George, if you're not sure what any of them mean, I've put some of the translations there so you could do those ones first, okay? Okay. Okay. Some of you, if you finish, I'm going to give you some extra verbs that you might think about using. See if you can then put those into the right column as well. In. Hayley, hey Alex, hey. Rosa, Benji Presta. Okay. Bianca, Benji Presta. Okay. Un attimo, arrivo. Hannah, if you finish, see if you can figure out why you're going to put these ones as well. Okay. See. Sono, sono, sono intelligente, sono sportivo, esatto. Presente, esatto, esatto. Okay. Good fan if you finish. Some extra verbs, a bit more difficult, see so if you can find where they need to go, okay? Francis. Esatto, esatto, fantastico. Oh, no, 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 in any order. Okay? So, vediamo. Lavoro, dove lo metti? Lavoro. Esatto, sì, so scrivilo qua. You can put them in any order though, Francis. They don't need to match up, okay? Tom, hai finito? Allora, ti do questa extension. Okay. <laughs> okay, some slightly more difficult verbs. We did something. We would like some more conditionals, okay? So if you finish and you're looking at the extension, you've got some verbs um, in the we form. We went, we would like. You've got some extra conditional tenses. Where are you going to put them? Hai finito, James. Allora, guardi questa, okay? So, per esempio, lavoriamo, dove lo metti? Uh, we were. Esatto, no, 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 allora, we, we were. were. Sì, esatto, present, bravo. George, okay? Yeah. Good, excellent. When we go through them on the board, any that you haven't got, yeah. um, I don't mind if you write on the meanings here, or okay. you can put them in here, whichever's easier, okay? Okay. Ha finito? No. No? Quasi, quasi. Okay, ancora. Chris, you've got that to help you, so I think you could do a few more. Are you? Al Gordi, congratulations. No, per te. Si. You're lost. Si, certo, certo. I want to ensure that you complete it and you've understood it so you can use it as well as possible, Chris, yeah? Si. Bravo. If you don't want to look at it, you can turn it over, that would be even better. Okay. Okay. Avete finito? I finito the extension. I can press the last thing, but I've seen it. Okay. Okay, vediamo. Doesn't matter if you haven't finished. We're going to go through them together and make sure you've got them all in the right column. Um, Joe, lavoro. Um, present. Present, bravo. I work. Benissimo. Ho fatto, Bianca. Passed. Bene, I did. Esatto. Lavorerò, Hayley. I will work. I will work. Brava. Future. Okay. Sono, James. Uh, present. Present. Quest away. I am. See? Sono. Okay. Nathan, vado. Present. Bravo. Che vuol dire in inglese? I go. Bravo. Cucino. Cucino. Um, Nasli. Present. Present. Che vuol dire questo? I cook. I cook. Si. Bene. Okay. Eh, Elsa. Present. Bene. It's. It is. Bene. Ah, uh, Ian. 
Present. Present. Sì, questo è it has. Se per esempio Hayden ha mm. una mensa, sì, it has. Ok. Sarà, sarà. Um, Byron. Bene, it will be. Sarà fantastico. Ok. Penso, penso che è divertente. Um, Hannah. Present. Present. Bene, I think. Ok. Vado, we've already seen. Ho lavorato, Rishi. Ho lavorato. Past. Bravo. I worked. Ok. Um, nuoto. Zoe. Nuoto. Benissimo. I swim. Ok. Amo. Um, Joe. Uh, Benissimo. In inglese? I love. I love. Perfetto. Mi piacerebbe. Mi piacerebbe. Um, Bianca. Is that I would like. Perfetto. Allora lo metto qua. Sì. I would like. Bene. Ho studiato. Willow. Benissimo, I studied. Ok. Uh, e finalmente c'è, c'è. Um, Alex. Uh, present. Present, bene, there is. Ok. Um, Hannah, posso avere due extension per questa colonna? Due esempi. Um, ho pensato. Ho pensato. Benissimo, I thought. This should help you see if you've recognised the pattern if you're doing the extension. Poi? I'll be on my phone. Abbiamo parlato, sì. Che vuol dire abbiamo parlato, um, Hannah? We talked. We talked. Bene, so ho studiato, I studied. Abbiamo studiato, we studied. Ok. Futuro, futuro extension. Uh, chiedo a Alex. Um, avrà. Avrà. Benissimo. It will have. Uh, Alex, un esempio con we will. We will. Um, saremo. Saremo, esatto, saremo, quindi saremo, we will be. So, we will, saremo, I will, sarò, ok? Vedete la differenza, grazie. E finalmente conditional, due esempi, Elsa. Um, amerei. Amerei, benissimo, amerei, I would love. Eh, ci piacerebbe. Ci piacerebbe, what does ci piacerebbe mean? Um, Mi piacerebbe, I would like. Ci piacerebbe. We would like. like. Esatto. Ok. So if you did the extension, check you've got them all in the right place. You can see from the pattern there, ok? You can ask me next if you're not sure. Ok. Allora. I said then that we were going to use all of this language to help us improve our answers to the education topic. Ok. On the board, I have got Sam's answers to the education topic. Well, four of his answers. Ok? So, numero uno, descrivi la tua scuola. La mia scuola si chiama Highfield, è grande con un campo da tennis e una piscina. Ok? Joe, in inglese, la mia scuola si chiama Highfield. My school is in Highfield, it's big with a tennis school and a tennis school. Perfetto, ok. Numero due, qual è la tua materia preferita e perché? Amo l'informatica, il mio professore di informatica è il mio professore preferito. Penso che è divertente. What subject does he love, uh, Rosa? ICT. E perché? Because he likes the teacher. Sì? And it's fun. It's fun, esatto, benissimo. Che cosa farai dopo la scuola? Che vuol dire in inglese questo, Ian? What will you do after school? Esatto, what will you do after school? Studierò all'università e poi lavorerò con i bambini. Gertrude, che vuol dire questo? Uh, I will study at university and after I will work with children. Benissimo, ok, so this is some of the information we've seen about him. And finalmente, che cosa hai fatto per lo stage di lavoro? What did he do for his work experience? James? Um, he worked in a sports shop, mm -hmm. um, he did the cleaning and he thought it was boring. He thought it was boring, benissimo. You know that to get a C grade, we're looking for two present tense verbs, two past, two future, some opinions and some linking words. Okay, so we want to establish if he's got that in here. So, two present tense verbs. Uh, Hayley, uh, has he or has he not? Has he managed that? Yeah, okay, so si chiama A, benissimo, okay. Two past tense verbs, uh, Binal. So guardiamo il numero 6. Yes. Si, bene, ho lavorato, ho fatto, infatti he's got three, okay. 
Two future tense verbs. So what will he do in the future? Um, Nathan? Yeah. Think. Studierò. Lavorerò. Okay. Um, opinions? Willow? Um, yeah. See? Can you give me an example? One. Okay. See? Bellissimo. Amo l'informatica. Brava. And Devon? È divertente, eccellente, okay? Linking words, has he got any linking words? Poi. Poi, bene. Anything else? Con, see? That's a linking word, even though it's quite simple. Okay, so just about. So is he going to get his C grade? Yeah. Okay. I have given you, here, those answers, okay, Sam's answers, those four, to those four questions, okay? What I'm going to ask you to do, and this will be for homework, so we'll have a look at this next lesson, is see if you can think about how you can improve on those answers for me, and also, can you add anything to them? Can you fill in the other answers? What can you add to make them, uh, to improve on what's already here? You have the information on this sheet to help you, okay? You've got lots of extra information about Sam. What else could you use to help you? What else can you use as a strategy to help you improve his answers? What are you going to think about? Avocado. Avocado, exactly. You're going to try and use avocado to help you do that. Can we very quickly, and I've given this to you, so it should be very quick, can we run down what I'm expecting you to include to improve his answers? What's A? Adjectives, good. So has he got enough adjectives? Could you add some more? What's V? Variety of tenses. Variety of tenses. So remember, you've got to have at least three tenses. And if you're aiming for a B or an A, or even higher, I'm looking for four or five. OK, what's the O? Opinions. C. Connectives. Connectives. Good. What's the... Sorry, we've nearly finished. What's the A? Adverbs. Good. So how often he does things, how he does them. D is what? Descriptions. Descriptions. Good. So, for example, he said that his school is big. Please don't start packing away. And finally... Originality. Originality. Try and say something original. Could you please get your organisers out for me? Is that yours for now? Okay. Okay, so you've got to add additional answers and improve on those which are there, okay? You're going to use avocado to help you think about it. I want you to be able to tick off each of those letters, okay? The extension, and I've given this to you, is also to think about including A star structures, okay? That will be for Thursday, and then as I said, on Friday we'll be in the ICT room, and you will go back to your answers and see how you can improve on them. Okay? All right, you can pack away. Um, I think it went reasonably well. I think that the students engaged with the thinking activity uh, well. I think that they were applying their knowledge of the grammar that we looked at to analysing the language that I'd given them. Um, I think probably with a little bit more time I could have taken them a bit further down the route towards how they could use everything that we looked at to um, improve their own work, but that's something which we'll carry on with. Um, I did have some support and extension work for the range of abilities and I think that helped stretch the most able and supported the, the less able students so that they were able to engage with the language we were looking at. So overall, I think it went, went well, yeah. 
Uh, next lesson, we'll go back, we'll look at the um, ideas that they've come up with, we'll pull it all together, I'll give them a few extra ideas, we'll do a few extra activities to, en to engage with um, a wider variety of languages, things like comparisons, maybe looking at an additional tense. And then the last lesson of this week, um, they'll have the opportunity in the ICT room to go back to their answers and apply all of the um, strategies we've been thinking about.